Hi and welcome to PeaceMeg TV. In today's video tutorial for Reaper, I'm going to show you how you can install an instance of Easy Drummer and then how you can remap what drums go to what channels. Now by default, they're going to put them in various predefined channels and you're going to use things like the percussion elements and the ambient mics and things like that. Now there are certain things that for me, I just don't use. So they take up channels that have no real relevance to me. And one of the downsides of that is the fact that what happens is it sort of lumps all of the toms and the floor toms and the things into one channel output, which is fine Unless, of course, you want to get a bit creative where you want to apply EQ to individual toms, you want to adjust their position in your soundscape, at which point you realistically need to have them on their own individual channels. So I'm going to show you how you can do that today. It's pretty painless, and once you've done it, you can kind of save it as a template if you want to, so then you could load it in at any point and not have to go through this time and time and time again. So let's see how easy that is to achieve. So I've got a blank project open in Reaper. And all I'm going to do is right click, insert virtual instrument, come to my tune track, and I'm going to just choose Easy Drummer. It's asking me do I want to create additional tracks so I can separate things out onto their own individual channels, which is great. So I'm going to say yes, I'll do that please. And I just brings up the drummer, uh, the Easy Drummer interface, and you can see it creates all the additional tracks for us. So I'll just leave the basic kit, that doesn't really matter too much which kit I'm using. But what I do need to do is go over to the mixer and just right click, sorry, just come down to where it says channel one on any of these, doesn't matter which one you choose, you simply come down and say you want to go to multi-channel. And then you'll find that where it says one on all of these channels, they'll just change over to the default for Easy Drummer 2. So you can see we've got the bass drum on one, snare on two, uh, hi-hats, toms, overheads, ambience, comps, you know, quite a few different things. Let's just go and change the kit to the kit that I always use. So I'm going to save this out as a, as a predefined layout then so I can load it back in any time I want to. And I'm just going to choose Metal Machine and I'm going to use Big Room. That'll take a couple of seconds to load in. And as you can see, like I said, we've got a double kick. We've got snare drum top and bottom, hi-hats, rack tom one, two, three, floor toms one and two. But they're all mapped to channel five. So if I just okay that a second and just close that down, We've got the default where if I just pull in a, a drum beat a second, I'll just pull a MIDI file in. Okay, so I've just loaded in a, a MIDI file. So we've got some drums to play about with. And if I just play this, if we look at the meters on the various different things, we should see that each of these channels now will have their own meters for the relevant uh, drum that they, they're associated with. So if I just play that, you can see we've got the kick is on channel one near top on channel two and so on so forth so we've got some basic information in there right so let's go back up to our instance of easy drummer and like i say we've got these mapped out to the relevant channels and like i say all the toms are mapped out to channel five or track five i don't really want that to be the case so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I want to map these out to the relevant ones that I want to use. So we'll start with track five and we'll just call that rack one, just so I've got some names to work with. Rack two. Rack three. And then we've got floor tom one and two. Floor one, floor two. So now all you need to do is remap their existing channel 5 through to 5, 6, 7, 8, so on. So rack tom 1 is fine. Rack tom 2 is going to go to output 6. Rack tom 3, output 7, output 8, and output 9. Now, obviously, you've got to be careful with this because you've already got things like your reverb and your ambient mono and things like that are already mapped out to these some of these tracks. So I need to get rid of things that I don't want to use. Now I never use a tambourine or a shaker or a one shot. So I can safely get rid of those. So I can say, well, instead of having the overhead on six, we'll now have the overhead on 11. And we'll have the reverb, instead of it being on nine, we'll have that on 10. And the ambient mono, we'll put on 12.
I can ignore these ones. I can leave them as they are because, like I say, I'm not going to use those. They're not going to be in my recording, so that's not a problem. So what I have done, like I say, is I've gone through and I've specified which individual channels I want to work with my toms. So if I just find a section in the song now that actually has some toms in it, I can show you how those are now being lit up on their own. So I can then control those individually of all the other drums on you. Okay, so I've got a small section now that involves some MIDI drums that are using the toms, floor toms, rack toms, and so on. So we now take a look at the section from rack one through to rack uh, to floor two. You'll see that those now will illuminate independently as we do the drum roll. So if I just come in and just play that a second. I'll do that one more time just so you can see. So keep an eye on these individual tracks. As you can see, we've easily come in and remapped the default locations for these particular drums. Now you can do that with any uh, drum pack. It doesn't have to be Easy Drummer. You can use it with Superior Drummer, Slate Drums, and so on. Anything that allows you to reroute these, you can do that easily. So you can set these up now, set them up the way you want to work with them. You can individually master mix, pan left, pan right, center. You can control all those elements now independently as opposed to being stuck with all of your toms are going through one individual track or channel. Well, I hope you found this useful. I know for me it's opened up some creative possibilities in the music that I put together. If you have found it useful, please hit the subscribe button below, hit the like button, share it, tell your friends and family about it, anybody that will listen. If you've got any comments or feedback, please by all means pop them in the post below in the comment section. If you've got any tutorial ideas for future videos, again, leave those in the section below in the comments, and I'll take a look at adding videos on the topics that you were looking to work with. Until next time, happy mixing, and take care.